Hello there and welcome to the new Google Data Studio tutorial and in this tutorial I will show you how you can perform your sorting within the charts or any table. So sorting is one of the important features which is part of the report and that helps us view the information that is important to us right at the top. For example, if we want to show the categories where we are making a lot of profit or we are not making a profit or maybe a different use case like categories where we are giving a lot of discount we want to understand that that why we are doing giving a discount and things like those then sorting becomes really handy and uh, it goes in a long way in, for for showing the information in your report and getting consumed by the end user so sorting is very straightforward within the google data studio so for example if i just click it over here you will see that uh, in while creating the chart we have specified the sorting by the sum of sales either in the descending order or ascending order so descending is the highest value will come first but if i choose the ascending then the lowest value will come first so based on our business reasoning or the business requirement we will going to choose one of the options that will going to help end user consume the information in a better way but as you can see, apart from sales, you cannot have additional sorting. So if you want to have something else apart from the sales, you need to click over there. And let's say you want by profit. So you just change this to profit. And now your values are different. So here clearly small business is the lowest one. So again, you need to make some shifting again and uh, choose ascending and descending and your values will be sorted accordingly. Now, apart from this, uh, here there is an option of uh, enable sorting. That means on the front end, when I go into the view mode, the sorting is available over here. So one, the end user can sort based on their needs. So right now we have sales, we have profit and the customer segment. Let's say we want to sort it by the sales. So now it's sorted by the sales and uh, sort by profit so we have sorted by profit and similarly sort by customer segment then you have sorted by customer segment in the reverse alphabetical category so these are the various options which is available to us and this interactive option is only enabled when you have this interactive enable sorting enabled for your chart and as you can see based on the matrix that is present as well as the dimension that is present the customer segment the sorting will be enabled for you so that's about how you can specify the sorting within the tab the chart similarly if you come over here for this particular table you will have the same sorting options available for example earlier we had uh, profit also over there but sales as the primary one so we have now have profit over here which you can always change by clicking there and change based on what value you want to select again in the ascending and descending order but if you go down you don't get that interaction sorting or interactive sorting which is present in the this particular report so in google data studio every functionality is dependent on what type of purpose that particular chart or table is serving and uh, because there is no need for having a multiple sorting because you will have these values like columns already present in the front end for example along with a profit over here in the in the metric if i add one more metric let's say the sales then sales is present over there and now you have it sales so this way you can basically uh, have your categories in the front end which is not in the case over here that's why interactive sort is present there but not here so over here if you see i can inter sort based on the categories that is given here so since the option is directly available there is no need for interactive sort so that's how you will find the variance or the difference between the various different charts and tables based on the functionality that they are serving. So that's about how you can sort the various different charts and tables within the Google Data Studio uh, and give your user a good end user experience. So that's about it and I'll meet you in the next video with a new topic.